we're here on Thursday Island to have a look at the teleophthalmology project that we've been running here in Torres Strait. There's over a million people in Australia with diabetes forecast to double over the next 20 years. This disease often causes irreversible blindness and affects Aboriginal people at four times the rate as in non-Indigenous population. The end result of diabetes in, in terms of your eyes is it can send you blind. The remote eye system we've developed in CSIRO allows the local nurses to take images of the retina of patients, which we use high-speed broadband to send to the ophthalmologist in the city. Part of what we're trying to do here uh, in terms of screening patients in remote communities is to identify this disease early so we can institute treatment. We can see the effects of the high blood pressure, the sugar and the cholesterol on the back of their eye and also smoking as well. The screening process takes about 10 minutes, so basically you put in patient details, a little bit of clinical data, attach the photos, send it off. The ophthalmologist and I can have a real-time conversation with the patient present. Just ringing up about Mrs HS, the 52-year-old diabetic, I've got images up here in front of me. As I assess these images, they can look at those same images and they can learn a lot about you know, what to look for in retinopathy, so it's a great educational tool. It's um, advanced uh, diagnosis because, like, I'll take myself for example, I didn't know I had problems with my eyes until she actually looked at the photos after, after she'd taken off me and it showed that I had um, some problems with my um, vessels, uh, blood vessels in the eye. We need to work around people's movements, a very mobile population, the Torres Strait. As a patient, leaving your family and your community to access any sort of services is a major disruption to your life and also an incredible cost for Queensland Health. So any service we can take to the community is fabulous. Previously, before we had the camera, everybody would have to wait until our eye doctor was here on Thursday Island. So a lot of people were missed. The three cameras we have for the project, uh, one's on Bardu Island, one's on Thursday Island here, and the other's at Bamiga Hospital. If I, as an ophthalmologist, go and visit remote communities, I might only get there once a year. I had a tremendous amount of frustration because I knew that, the, that half the, well, more than half the patients weren't going to see me and these patients had lost significant vision already and I know despite my treatment it was sort of too late. In other words, we were trying to preserve the little bit of vision they had left. The words got out about this camera and a lot more people are feeling confident so they're coming up to the health centres and uh, asking, oh, when are you going to bring your camera down next? Your eyes are the windows to your soul or something like that, the saying goes. And I, I think that's pretty much sums it all up about this machine. <laughs>